Hi everyone and welcome back to the Learner Radiology Brain Tumor Board Review. Today for case 16 we're looking at a 20 year old woman with seizures. Seizures have been a common theme going through these brain tumor cases. It's a very common presenting symptom. Here we have some images from uh, kind of the level of the midbrain getting most of the temporal lobes. You have a flare, a T1 pre-contrast, and a T1 post-contrast. Take a look, see where the abnormality is, look at the predominant features. Now we have some coronal images through the same area. Got a coronal thin T2, coronal flare, post-contrast again. By now you should have a pretty good idea of where the lesion is and a pretty good idea of your differential diagnosis. Your first question is what is your most likely diagnosis? So you'll probably get a multiple choice question that just has, I don't know, four to 10 diagnoses on it and you just have to choose. And question two is what's the most common neoplastic cause of epilepsy? So here you have some choices, you have ganglioglioma, DNA, PXA, oligodendroglioma. This is really just a question about sort of the frequency of getting these lesions and how often they might cause epilepsy. So this is a case of a ganglioglioma. These are mixed uh, neuronal and glial neoplasms. They tend to be grade one tumors, although there is an aggressive variant that can be WHO grade three. These tend to be children and young adults. Now you should think about ganglioglioma anytime you have a temporal lobe mass that's cystic and uh, has a mural enhancing nodule. So if you have a cyst and a nodule, a small, well-defined mass, think about ganglioglioma. Now, if you see one of these lesions and it looks like it could be a DNAT, um, DNATs are less likely to enhance. So if you're in a testing scenario, if you see enhancement, choose ganglioglioma. If you don't see enhancement, choose DNAT. And uh, for these, treatment is a uh, curative uh, resection. So if you take them out, they're not likely to come back. Here you see that uh, the images from the first slide I showed you, you have this posterior temporal lobe lesion and the medial temporal lobe. It's pretty well defined. It's got a little bit of T2 or some, a flare hyperintensity around it. On the pre-contrast T1, you see a kind of a well-defined cystic portion. And when you give contrast, you have a little bit of an enhancing nodule along the medial margin. On coronal, you see the same thing. You see a very well-defined T2 hyperintense region maybe a little bit of a more ill-defined region around it. On flare, uh, coronal is actually hard even to see the lesion at all, but you do see compared to the contralateral side, this pair hippocampal gyrus is uh, a little bit expanded there. And on post-contrast, you see that enhancing nodule along the medial margin. So this brings us back to our general concept of what these cortical temporal tumors are like. When you see a cortical temporal tumor, First decide if it's ill-defined. This one's pretty well-defined, so we're gonna say no. Decide if there's enhancement. There is some enhancement there. It's minimal nodular. Like in this case, we're looking at a ganglioglioma. This is an image from the same case. This is pretty typical for a ganglioglioma. If you wanna see the DNAT, uh, go back and take a look uh, at case 13 from this series, and uh, you can check out what a DNAT might look like. There's also a PXA uh, in this series as well, so if you wanna see what those different tumors look like, uh, you can check them out on the other cases uh, from this series. Your second question was, what's the most common neoplastic cause of epilepsy? That is ganglioglioma, as in this case. So these are the most common tumor causes of epilepsy. Now, in most cases of epilepsy, you're not going to see anything on the MRI. So if you're asked a question about just the overall most common cause of epilepsy, it's kind of idiopathic epilepsy. Thanks to everyone for tuning in to this case 16 of the Brain Tumor Review Series. We have four more cases to go. You guys are getting close to your exam, so I uh, hope your preparations are going great. We're going to finish up those four cases, and uh, you guys are going to be ready when it comes to seeing brain tumors. Thanks for watching the video today, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe.